Miss Mayor, can you uh, tell us a little bit about today's event? What the uh, what the background is on this? Like what what exactly is going on here today? Absolutely, it started out as an event to honor um, those in the military, those who put on the uniform to um, protect us, um, and it. As the tragedy of our officer being killed, um, it's turned into a candlelight vigil for um, Sultan and um, basically showing support for our, our um, Sheriff's Department, Officer Wallace, um, the San Jacinto uh, Sheriff's Department. And it's, then right now I see that it's just kind of more like a rally here. Are we going to hold the candlelight vigil later on this evening? Yes, the, uh, the candlelight vigil will start between 5 and 5.30 and it'll go till 6.00. Um, we'll be doing some speeches, that type of thing, and um, uh, just honoring his memory. And where is the uh, candlelight vigil going to be held? It's going to be on the other side of the, of the memorial from where we're currently standing. Perfect. I appreciate both of your times, ladies. No problem. Good afternoon, ladies. Can you tell me your first and last name and who you're with, please? Hi, my name is Paula Hearn, spelled H-I-R-N, and I'm with the Hemet Elks, number 1740. And I'm Crystal Ruiz. I'm the mayor of San Jacinto. It's C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-R-U-I-Z. And can you tell us a little bit about this event and what you've done for the community? Well, this event is in support of a canine officer we lost the other day, Sultan, um, who saved the lives of all of our officers on scene that day. And it's very important that we support the canine units because they're what's helping us control the crime in the valley and helping us take our valley back from the criminals. Um, recently, I'm the chairperson of the Hemet Elks Canine Fundraising Committee, and we recently turned over a check for $12,000 to the city of Hemet, raised by golf tournaments, fundraising, other organizations donating to us, bingo players donating, to help them get a second dog for the city of Hemet. We're continuing our efforts to raise funds for this most worthy cause, and 100% of everything donated to us goes to the canine units. We do not take any money away from it. It all goes to them, because they're what help us sleep, sleep safely at night. Welcome to just sign it as soon as you see an opening. How you doing, Trevor? Go on in. I'd say well, go I'm for it. Say mine. Done did mine. Oh, okay. For anybody else. How you doing? Oh, doing good. How you doing?
recording. Video. Uh oh. We're here to report to Hill Park Country. Um, and because the doggy was shot and killed. So we're here to remember him. Do you love doggies, Ashley? Uh oh. Here comes mommy. Thank you. God bless. Hi, Sultan. You're in doggy paradise. Doggy heaven. <laughs> Awesome. I and can still I, miss the canine. Can I? Yeah, we all do. Can we get your uh, first and last name? Mario Can you spell that? M A R I O L E O R A. Perfect. Thank you. All right, the mayor of San Jacinto is out here. Her name is Mayor of San Jacinto. Come to her if you want to make a donation. And we got ourselves about 10. Sure. 
children in the schools and, and at the events, the local events, they did dog training sessions and, and show people what it's all about to get clean on humans and how important those dogs are. Um, those dogs are more than a partner, they're, they're, they're more than that, they're family. Officer Wallace was with, with Sultan 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days. Um, he was his family, and it was a terrible loss. Um, but I want everybody to understand what happened. Um, when Sultan went in, he did his job. He went in, he found a bad guy, and he came out a hero. He protected Officer Wallace and those who were with him, and God bless Sultan. God bless all the canine dogs. Yeah. 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 Yes, sometimes it is, but when you want 
your grand dream walk across the stage and see a blind person walk off the stage with that dog, it is all worth it. That dog becomes part of that person's family, will be living with them, will be guiding them wherever they go for years. And so we're very happy to do what we do and get the puppies back. Thank you. Nothing is free from grants. Uh, we are not state funded. Um, we do presentations. We have donations. This is how we get our money. The blind recipient has to live on our campus for 28 days to get acquainted with their dog to make sure it's a good match. That's also $35,000. Again, the client does not pay for that. Guide dogs of the desert are gladly and freely given. Thank you very much for speaking. I'm so sure I'm going to say until about an hour and a half ago, I didn't have this. this together. Good job. Good job. I know our candles, my candle just gave out. It's been a go for a long series of years are about to go out. Our community in the last five years has gone through a significant amount of transition. A lot of things have happened, but I believe personally, and we've been praying in town in a direction that we don't want it to go in. And it requires us, if you see something, say something. If you know somebody that's doing something they shouldn't be doing, talk with them. If that doesn't work, do what makes this happen. Fantastic, fantastic. And I know that we're in a moment where, if you agree, say amen. Okay. When you say amen, the definite I know some folk have moved and walked away. I'm not one of those that's going to move and I'm not going to walk away. This is our town. I raised my kids here. And in the name of Jesus, he's going to show us and give wisdom to our mayors of both towns. Give wisdom to our spirit that you will once again breathe across this valley. From Iowa to the Diamond Valley to Homeland to Beaumont to Park Hill and Throw the trash. I'm going to see you on here tomorrow. Uh, at least in time, I'm going to get the trash. Uh